Yes, Madhya, good evening. Uh, we're starting in five minutes, all right? We are waiting for a few students. All right, five minutes. Good evening, Atisha. How are you? Thanks, sir. How about you, sir? I'm good. How's everyone? Everyone can hear me, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So you remember what we did in the last class? Okay, Atisha, no problem. Okay. Madhya, what were you doing in the last class? Question, sir. Yeah, we are solving questions of complex numbers, right? Yeah. So let me give you one question to revise you. One for A plus IB form. All right. Did I tell you how to solve this? To solve this, multiply 3 plus 4i like this. All right. This will multiplied with one here you can apply a plus b into a minus b formula okay sir okay a plus b into a minus b. this is a square minus b square Right. This is the way to go. 
I'll give you two three minutes to solve this. All right, very easy question. This kind of questions always multiply like this. This is called rationalization. All right, you did the same similar kind of questions in class tenth also. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Like this, you did same way. Okay, I'll give you two three minutes. Okay, have we solved? Yes. Yeah, so we have one upon three minus four i, right? So I'm going to multiply three plus four i, this, right? So this will be three plus four i upon three square minus four i square, right? Yes, Adin, we'll check your answer, all right? So this is three plus four i upon nine minus sixteen square, and we know the value of i square is minus one. So minus minus is plus. So three plus four i upon nine plus sixteen. So this is three plus four i upon twenty five. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Very easy, right? 
Yes, sir. See, not just only this question. If we have questions like this, a plus i b upon c plus i b. Even if there is a complex number on the denominator, you just need to multiply like this. All right, no matter what, just look at the denominator, multiply, changing the sign. All right, you'll get the answer. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. Okay, let's give you another question. Question is five plus four i upon four plus five i. Have to change this into a plus i b form. Here, what is the a plus i b form? Here, this is three upon twenty five plus four upon twenty five i. This is a. This is b. Right. I have to solve this one. Five plus four i upon four plus five. Clear? Okay. And yes, there is an announcement uh, tomorrow. There is a viva. All right. So please be prepared. All right. Okay, sir. Okay. Everyone heard that, right?
All right, Mazi has the answer. Atisha, Peer. Doing sir. Doing sir. No sir, doing sir. Doing. All right, I'll give you two more. Sir, right? I got the answer, sir. All right, please write. Uh, okay, we'll the answer. All right. Let's give other people two minutes. Second is called a bit up. All right, let's see. Atisha, done. No, sir, not able to get. Can you do it? Sure. Okay, Aline, can you look through the steps? Is it? See, you are not audible. Okay, let's see. Here, take us through the steps. So first, you have to multiply, like you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Multiply by. Yes, multiply by. Four minus five by. Four minus five by right. And after that. After that, uh, it will become like below that, it will become square like a square minus b square, right? And here we have to multiply, right? Yes, okay. Then it so will be this. Mm -hmm. 20 minus 25i. Plus okay. 16 minus 20i square. I square, absolutely right. Divided by 16 plus 25. 16 plus 25. Now? Now it will become... 25i square, right? 25i square. No, no. i square is minus 1. So minus 1 and minus is plus. I change it. Put the value of i square as minus one, right? Yes, sir. Yes. After that. After that, uh, twenty minus twenty-five. 
No, 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 not that much. Sir. Okay. See, we can simply add these two and this two. This is i square. So i square is minus one, minus minus is plus. So this is plus twenty, plus twenty and twenty is forty. And here minus twenty five i plus sixteen i. That means minus nine. Right? Here this is forty one. Clear? Yes, sir. So we can write this as forty upon forty one minus nine upon forty one i. So this is a plus i b form. All right, clear? Yes, yes Mahesh and Alin, absolutely right. You got nineteen here in the chat, Alin. You wrote. Okay, mistake. All right. Atisha, Peer, clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Khalid. Okay, no replies here. Alvia, clear? Mazia, Mazia has answered already. All right, let's see another question. Do you have to note this? Note this down. Anyone? Okay. We have another question. One plus i whole square upon three minus i. A plus i b form. All right. Let's see.
okay so you guys have answers let's see Atisha? yes sir take me to the steps yes sir so first we'll uh, we can uh, we can substitute the values of uh, a plus b whole square right so one square plus two i plus okay 2i plus i square <clears throat> by All three right. i but by three minus i mm. two three plus i okay into three plus i i by three plus i three plus i All right. Right. Next step it will be one plus two i minus one by three i three minus i. And there is the same thing. Then you can cancel out one and one. So one minus one, so zero. Yes. Two i uh, into three plus i, so it will be six i plus i square. Here we'll write six i. Plus I two i square, two i square, right? Yeah, yeah, two i square, yes, yes. Yeah, two i square okay. by three minus i. Uh, by three square minus i square. All right. So it will be six i minus two i. So because i square no minus two, just minus, minus two. two i square is minus two. All right. Nine uh, nine plus one. So this is six i yeah. upon ten, right? Yes, sir. So we have minus two upon ten plus six i upon ten. Yes, sir. Mazia, you got one upon ten. Please check that. Aline also got two i by ten. That's wrong. You have to multiply, right? Right, Aline, Mazia, clear. Yes, sir. All right, yes, Alvia. Alvia is not responding today. Okay, Peer, clear? Yes, sir. Okay, note it down. If you have already, then let's do another question. One upon one minus two i plus three upon one plus i into three plus four i upon two minus four i a plus i before first you take lcm here then multiply then take that multiplication right let's see i'll give you two three minutes or five minutes it's a lengthy question okay. let's see
anybody done doing sir doing all right
done everyone yes sir okay alin take me through the steps alin am, am i audible yes sir you are audible yeah can you help me solve this yes sir first um, we have to like multiply both sides with minus 1 minus 2i uh in this yeah we have to multiply both sides like for doing the lcm yeah or you can just uh, take lcm right you can take lcm and simplify that would be easier i guess yes and yeah you can see you can take lcm like this right here this will be 1 plus i plus 3 into 1 minus 2i right sir i mean this one is it uh sorry i mean this one is it okay this one all right all right I mean so okay after this after this um we have to multiply the other side with like 2 plus 4i 2 plus 4 uh, but we can do that uh, in later stage all right uh, first let's simplify this this thing this is 1 plus i plus 3 minus 6i upon here it is 1 plus i minus 2i minus 2i square right so this is 4 minus 5i upon this is plus 2 so 3 minus i clear now you can just multiply these two all right this is 12 plus 16i so minus 15. So we have to rationalize it. Rather yes, so you can rationalize, but uh, you can solve both ways. You can rationalize this and this, then multiply, or you can multiply, then rationalize. Same thing. You will get the same answer. All right. I prefer this one because um, this is less complicated for me. But you can choose your own way. All right. Yes. Okay, you can just multiply like this 3 plus i upon 3 plus i in here and here 2 plus 4i and 2 plus 4i, right? Like this. You can do no no issue. But I prefer that I directly multiply, then rationalize. All right. Yes. Let me this this. Minus twenty i square, right? Yeah, this is twelve plus sixteen i minus fifteen i minus twenty i square upon six minus. 12i minus 2i plus 4i square, right? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> so this is 20 plus 12, 32 plus i upon this is 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 minus, minus 14. No, yeah. sir. Uh, any doubts? No, sir. Clear. Sir, can you show the LCM how to do that again, sir? Sure.
see uh, these two are two different complex numbers right so the lcm yes, will be uh, same multiplication right just as you have 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 the lcm is 6 that is 2 into 3 right same way yes, i can take the lcm as this into this 1 minus 2i into 1 plus i now here in the denominator we have 1 minus 2i so when you divide this will be cancel this will remain so 1 into 1 plus i and in here 1 plus i will be cancel so 3 into this part you know the uh, the easiest way when there are two different numbers no common element so just take lcm 2 into 3 then you cross multiply 1 into 3 2 into 1 right yes sir same way 1 into this 3 into this and lcm is multiplication all right okay sir yeah so yeah in this step now you can rationalize 2 plus 14 i upon 2 plus 14 i this is 64 Plus thirty two into four ten is three twenty and one twenty eight four forty eight I guess right. Sir minus red sixty four minus four four eight I. Hmm, it is minus. I I have to multiply with plus right. Ah uh, yes sir, uh, I mistake. Yeah, and this is four minus fourteen i square. And this is fourteen i square. So this is minus fourteen, so fifty, and this is four fifty i upon four plus fourteen. So this is. Fifty plus four fifty i upon eighteen. Clear. So fifty upon eighteen plus four fifty upon eighteen. Right. Everyone is clear. Yes, sir. Uh, do you want to note this down? Done. Done. Okay. Everybody done. Noting down. Okay, I guess that's all. Another question like this. So we have three plus root five i, three minus root five i, four divided by root three plus root two. I minus root three minus I root two. Please try to convert this into A plus I B form. All right. I'll give you two three minutes.
answer is I root two and D root I same. Yes, I root two and two root two are same. This is a record. Okay, Mazia has already got the answer. Everyone, please try to do this. Okay, give you one minute. Sir, I root 2 and 2 root I both are same? Yes, here I have written these two are same. All right. Okay, everyone done? Done? Peer? Just a second, I have to correct my answer. Okay, all right. One minute more, all right?
All right. Let's see how to solve this. First, I can multiply this two, right? So this is three square minus under root five i square upon simplifying this denominator root three plus root two i minus root three plus root two i. Clear? Okay, yes. Atisha. Let's see. Will be nine minus five i. Uh, five i square. Okay. So it become plus five. Nine plus five. Yeah. Right. And this root three and root three is cancelled. So we have two root two i. Yeah. Nine plus five by two root the fourteen by two root two i. So we have fourteen upon two root two i. So this is seven upon root two i. I can write. Ah, okay, sir. Right. right. Seven by two root two i into into yeah. Uh, what should I multiply here? Uh, two root two i. Root two i. Root two i. Yes. Okay. Root two i. Or you can just multiply i also. No problem there also. So seven root two i. Upon root two square, so two i square minus two. Yeah, minus two. So this is minus seven root two point two i, right? Yes. This is your answer. So a equals to zero, b equals to minus seven root two upon two. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, I did not cancel the seven, uh, fourteen by fourteen and two. I just kept it as it is. So I got twenty-eight. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. No problem there. Alright. Okay. Alright. Clear? Yes, sir. Everyone is clear. Alvia, Mazia, Khalid, Peer. Yes, sir. Okay. Moving on, right on. So this is clear, right? You can change any complex number into a plus i b form, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Don't forget to convert that, right? The complex number is in this form, a plus i b. Yes. Always do this first. Okay. Now, conjugate. Of a complex number. Write it down. Conjugate of a complex number. Okay. Write down the definition. Let z equals to a plus i b. Be a complex number then let's call it as denoted by z bar only okay, this is written z bar. And given by z bar equals to a minus i b. All right. Note it down. See, conjugate of a complex number is very, very, very easy, right? So you just have to change the sign of the imaginary part. All right, here it is plus i b. In conjugate, you have to write minus i b. Clear? Yes, sir. Everyone is clear. Peer. Peer is not responding. Mazia, Alvia. 
Yes, sir. Clear. All right. So, if they ask you find conjugate of these complex numbers, the first will be suppose three plus four i. What will be z bar? Aline, what will be Z bar? Three. Uh, three what? Three minus four i. Yeah, three minus four i. Right, very simple. Yes. Sir. And if they ask you. If z equals to three minus four i, then z bar would be. That's it. Atisha. Three plus four i, sir. Three plus four i. All right. You just have to change the sign. Okay. But remember that the complex number should be written in a plus i b form, not in any other form. All right. Always convert to this. Yeah. So if I give you a question, z equals to one plus three plus four i. Please try to find this answer. The Z bar you have to find. I'll give you two minutes. Okay. Okay, let's see. One second, one second, one second, one second. Okay, okay, one second. Atisha, you already answered, right? That's wrong, sir. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Here I have to multiply three minus four i, right? So we'll have nine plus sixteen. So this is three minus four i upon twenty-five. Z, right? Yes. So Z bar would be three plus four i upon twenty-five. Clear? Yes, sir. Alin, you didn't change the sign, so please keep yes. that in mind. All right. Everyone is clear? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. Okay, Mazia, you didn't answer. No, sir. Okay, are you clear now? Okay, just change the complex number to a plus ib form, then change the sign of imaginary part. All right, write down another question. If z equals to one minus i upon 
1 plus i. Okay, we have to find z bar. And z bar is called conjugate of complex number. All right. I'll give it two minutes. All right, let's see. Here again, you have one minus i plus i, you will multiply one minus i. So this is one minus i whole square upon one square minus i square. So this is one plus i square minus two i upon one plus one yes so i can cancel out i square and one so this is minus two i upon two so this is minus i right yes sir so z equals to minus i so z bar will be i plus i yes zero plus i also right the same thing yeah, same thing. Zero plus i, no issues. Yeah, Nalin is also right. Mazia, clear? Yes, sir. No issues, right? No. Okay. Let's solve another question.
is one plus i whole square on three minus i. You have to find z bar. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Here, z equals to one plus i whole square upon three minus i. So this is one plus i square plus two i upon three minus i. i square plus one is zero. So two i upon three minus i. You have to multiply three plus i. Can you see the screen? Not it. Three plus i. So this is six i plus two i square. This is nine minus i square. So this is six i minus two upon nine plus one. Right. I can write this down here. Minus two plus six i upon ten. This is z. So z bar would be minus six i. Clear? Yes. Sir. Aline has a different answer. Three i minus one. Acha, you divided by two. All right. But I am getting minus here also. Nobody is getting. Yeah, Mazia is also getting plus both sides. Mazia, you change the sign of minus two, but you have to change the sign of this imaginary part, right? The term with i. Yes, right? sir. Yeah. So please keep that in mind. Clear. Okay. Let's do another question. Right. 
write down find the real numbers x and y if x minus i y 3 plus 5 i is the conjugate of minus 6 minus 24 i all right if this is the conjugate of this and find x and y all right i'll give you a hint multiply this then compare you know what comparison means if this is equals to this all right let's see so there's x minus i over here yeah i told you equality of complex numbers right if two complex numbers are equal then a should be equal to c and b should be equal to t right yes all right use that and try to find the answer
Are we done? Atisha? Sir, can you? Okay. Mazia, Alvia? Are we solving this? So, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Aline? Alin is not yet. Yes. Okay. 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 I'll give you two, three minutes maximum. All right, Mazia. Please try to do it in three minutes. Done, sir. All right. Let's see how to solve this. Okay. Natisha, let's see. First, let's multiply this. X minus I Y into 3 plus 5 I. Right. So this is 3 X plus 5 X I minus 3 by i minus 5 by i square right sir direct or we can directly plus 5 by the through the other side right and the starting uh, yes you, 
yes yes you can do that also no issues there because this but see division of complex number is actually you can do that but try this way all right try okay. this way yeah so we have 3x plus 5y plus 5x minus 3y taking i common right like this we know that this number is conjugate of if z equals to this sir how 3 in 3x and plus 5y there is no i common so you took i common outside no no see this i square is this one so minus minus plus so this two are together and this two are together yes sir clear so if complex number is this then complex number conjugate is minus 6 plus 24i so they said this two are equal so 3x plus 5y plus 5x minus 3y to i equals to minus 6 plus 24i right we know that if two complex numbers are equal then real parts are equal and imaginary parts are equal so i can write 3x plus 5y equals to minus 6 and 5x minus 3y equals to 24 any doubts any doubts till now okay i guess not so how to solve this this is solving the simultaneous equation i can multiply a 5 here and i can multiply 3 here so this will be 15x and 15x this is cancelled if i subtract and here 25y plus 9y here this is minus 30 minus 72 so this is 34y equals to this so y equals to 34 or i can say 51 upon 60 clear sir how minus 13 minus 72 uh See this is six into five minus thirty twenty four into three minus seventy two because subtraction is there. Did I do any calculation mistakes? Sir, in the second last step, you have thirty two instead of thirty four. Thirty four. Yeah, this is thirty four, right? Twenty five plus nine is thirty four. No sir, minus one hundred two divided by thirty two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, right, right. This is thirty four. My bad. So this is seventeen. Okay. Okay. Now you can put the value of y in here, or any equation you want, and you can find the value of x. Clear? Yes, sir. easy easy clear yes sir okay write down properties of conjugate all right properties of conjugate first one is z bar let right. bar of z bar is z only second one is if two complex number are added and then taking bar then you can take the bar individually and then add them 
All right. You can break the bar. All right. Yes, sir. Third one is same for subtraction. <clears throat> Put the same for multiplication. Fifth is same for division. This was four bar. I can separate the bar. Six is very important. Z into Z bar. This equals to mod of Z square. All right. Or we can say that this is real Z square plus imaginary Z square. Clear? Write this down. I give you two three minutes. Sir, can you say the sixth one? Yes, sixth, sixth one is Z into Z bar. Dot means multiplication here, all right? Yes, sir. Equals to mod of Z square. So what does Z mod square equals reciprocal of Z square plus INC?
Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, sorry, I was disconnected for some reason. Ole, did you write that down? Yes, sir. The sixth one, what is it, IMC, sir? Uh, that's not IMC, that is IMZ, imaginary part of Z. Ah, okay, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's reciprocal z square and imaginary part of z square. Yes. Yes. Am I audible now? Atisha? Yes, sir. All right. So now, see what the properties says are. If we have a complex number like this, 3 plus 4i into 5 minus 3i, and you have to find the conjugate of this, then you can just simply, simply divide the bar all right, like this into 5 minus 3i, right? So this is 3 minus 4i into 5 plus 3i. Easy? Yes. Okay. And so on for the all the properties. Clear? And the last property that we did, it was z into z bar equals to real part of z square plus imaginary part of z square right so what this means is if i find, give you this right three plus i and this is conjugate of this so the answer of this will be real part of z real part of z is three so three square plus imaginary part of z is four so four square so three square plus four square is 25 Clear, Atisha? Am I audible, guys? Yes, sir, you are audible. All right, clear this, this property. Mazia? So, so actually, the imaginary part gets cancelled out. No, I uh, No, with I sorry. Yes, sir, yes, nothing. Okay, clear, right? So this is all for today's class. Yes. Okay, we'll see you in the